Hello my friends, and it's been a while since I've done a review like this. And, well, since this is still the march of the Robot Wars, I thought I would give a little review about a game I've been playing on my own time, which is Super Robot Wars V, which is for the PlayStation 4, the Switch, and the PC. But, um, I have the PS4 version. So, probably the most impressive thing I can say about this is the animation. The animation in this game is just stunning as all get out. The attacks. right down to every bit of of um say <clears throat> from the smallest detail to the large scale details and what you're seeing here is basically the Yamato firing its um its cannons the shot cannon attack actually and it shows everything. I mean, just wow. And out of all the Super Robot Wars games I've been playing, I've been playing quite a bit of them. I've been playing um, on stream, Alpha Gaiden, and GameCube. During my own downtime, it's um, V. Because I do have the trilogy of VXT, and that's where I'm going. I'm going to play X after V, and then T last. <clears throat> so if you never play a Super Robot Wars game, or as I like to call it, Super Robot Tyson, basically you go through a multiverse of a select few of Mick makes from certain animes. With um, V, the story goes like this: We're basically going through the the storyline of the Yamato, which would make sense because it is by possibly the oldest space opera ever known. Uchu Senkan Yamato, aka Star Blazers. This is twenty one ninety nine, by the way. This is twenty one ninety nine version they're using. Let me tell you, it has been so difficult trying to get a screenshot for certain attacks, and I can only get like only a chosen few, and I basically post this right up on my Twitter some time back but I, for, I simply forgot to you know pull it and you know save it to where I could use it so this time around we have the following we have Uchi Senkan Yamato we have Uchi Senkan Nadashiko, or, or rather, Martian successor, Nadashiko. We have UC Gundam, Zeta, Double Zeta, we have F91 Crossbone, Uh, let's see, we have Crossange, Brave Express Might Gain, Dayton 3, Zambot 3, Neon Genesis Evangelion,
Mozger Z. New New Legend. I'm go I'm gonna call it Mozger Z New Legend because it is an it is the newer version of Mozger over the original. The one in which Mozger Z turns into Mozger Zero. So this the newer Mozger Z. We have Shin Getarobo with Neo Getarobo. In which we have, you know, the Getter the Getter warship. Otherwise known as Getter Dragon. Uh, let's see. We also have Seed. And um, I forgot which one which one had the innovators in it. But I know Seed Probably a stray. I would think, but but we have mostly that batch of characters into this one, this one jam-packed game of sorts. And of course, we have two main characters. One being Soji, the other one being Chitose. Now the plot is that as the Yamato is going through their trip, basically if you've never seen the Yamato series, they basically go to a trip to Iskandar just to save the earth. And that's the whole point of the entirety of the game. You're going through Iskandar to save the earth. And you're picking up all these units along the way. And the V in this in this installment it stands for Voyage. So you got Super Robot Wars Voyage. And for X, the X means cross. The T means Terra. So there you go. And the only the only other game I've also been playing is W. So I've been playing W in my spare time as well. And W is basically a sequel to J, because they have certain recurring characters like Mazen Kaiser and um, Tekken Man Blade. And I might consider doing it as a let's play, or if not that, I might stream it at some point. I'm not entirely sure. That depends on what's going to happen. Anyway, like I said, going through this game, it has been... It has been some. As I, even even if I played it on a lower level, it's, it still doesn't take away from the challenge that is Super Robot Tyson. I mean, Super Robot Tyson by itself, you know. You're going through, say, what, 50-some-odd levels? And they do get stressful, and when they get stressful, they get longer. Like the last level I dealt with earlier tonight, or rather this morning, was uh, say um, 48, I believe, in which I was dealing with the Gamillions. I was dealing with the main fleet of the Gamillions, or as they, or as they're dubbed over here, the Gamelons. But the Gamilia, the Gamillias. That's what that's what their original name is called, the Gamillas, or the Gamillions. So I'm taking on the Gamillions, and like I'm taking on the entirety of the warship. So I'm, I'm I mean the entire fleet. So I'm taking on all of the main fleet in say three phases. Most of them being carriers and and fighters, with only a handful of basically capital ships. So one part is you're dealing with you're dealing with the Gamelons or the Gamelians, and then. 
mother part is you're dealing with 2k oh I forgot about unicorn unicorns in this too you're dealing with two units from say crossbone because they do have enemies from crossbone and unicorn and I don't need to go any further about that it's Gundam after all so let me just say yeah I sound tired because it took a lot of my mental energies to basically focus on getting through that one stage <laughs> let me tell you I've been playing that game for like four hours basically just going through two stages and picture that picture that for a moment I'm playing this one game on stream every Wednesday I'm playing a different game every Wednesday every SRW game well not every SRW game but it's the reason why I call it SR SR Wednesday because it's super robots you know super robot Wednesday originally I had some idea to do something on a Wednesday like say heroes and whatnot I mean I'll still do it but it's like well you know just in case if things start changing like oh well super robot Wednesday that'll work because super robot wars super robot Wednesday makes sense like Monday detective Monday and if you don't know the, and if you don't know, Dragnet, that's where I got it from. Because if you remember Dragnet, Jack Webb played the character Sergeant Friday. So that's where I got the idea for Detective Mondays. Detective Monday is basically just a nod to Dragnet because of Jack Webb's character, Joe Friday. As for, you know, Fantastic Friday, the name itself, which I spell with P-H-A-N-T-A-S-I-C, like fantastic, but with a fun, you don't know the reference, fantasy star. So everything I do, it really does have reference to it. So we're going back to this game in which two missions by itself takes about at least two three hours. So compare that to other games I've been playing on say my stream or what I'm doing for YouTube. You couldn't imagine me doing something like this on a stream or say God forbid if I do it on YouTube. The only way I see myself doing it on YouTube is if I had a capture device. But even then, it was like, oh. Then there's the thing about, you know, the theme songs. But then again, like I said, it's one of those games that I tend to just, like, just phase out on. And Super Robot Wars V is nothing short of me just like phasing out three whole missions. They're going about, like, say, two hours. Maybe three because one mission be short, the other, the other be long. But I will say when you upgrade, and just like with usual fashion, you would have to upgrade basically the unit not not so much the weapons but if you upgrade the unit it gives you bonuses and the bonuses I liked for instance if you were to fully deck out armor you get a second attack so it's like you start with say beam saber his second attack could be anything that is like say within new type like he could use Fin funnel after that, or he could use all range attack after that. It's the same to it with all new type units I, I've found. 
Like, there's Amuro, Kamiyu, Judo, Banagar. Or how they pronounce his name, Banaja. But, yeah, it's Banagar. Another, in another game, I believe on, um, on Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3, they call him Banaje. It's like, no, just call him Banagar. It sounds more, sounds more easier. Don't, don't call him Banaje. Like, that sounds like Fabergé. When I think about that, like, ah, Fabergé. No, no, your name is Banagar. Your name is not Banaje. It's Banagar. Moving on. So as I said before, it's one of those hard to find games because the only way you can find this game is um, you would have to look it up on, say, someplace like Amazon. For me, I went to, I went to AX and I found these three games. And I said, you know what? Might as well get them. I forgot which year I got these games but um it had been some time because I've been like going through a lot of other projects but aside from that this one oh this one oof. I just felt so good after playing this one I'm not even done yet I'm like a little close to you I don't know how close to it but I'm, I'm like I'm near an end game as we speak. So I, I've, t I've taken the liberty of going the Soji route over to Telesace route. And not because I favor one character over the other. It's like his story kind of has more history than Chitose. And that's what I look forward to whenever I'm playing something like um, Super Robot Wars. It's like with um, GameCube, you got Akimi and Fairy, who work as a, a, a team in a two-man piloted robot, somewhat like Zeraimar. But not like Zero Nightmare. But it works just as well, you know. I mean, for what it was worth going through this game, I'm pretty sure it's like, say, level 50, 53 or 57, because usually. Games like these usually go up to at least level fifty-three. I don't. I don't know. The only person, the only other person I know that could confirm for me would be Foy because he's a strategy RPGist like myself, so he would know how high they, how high the levels went. So you know, for reference, you know. But if you were to ever find this on, well, I know you can find it on Amazon. You can find anything on Amazon. But if you were to say, go to an expo and you find this, whether you find it on PS4 or Switch or even Vita, how about if they have it on PC? So I'm pretty sure they have it like on on Steam, but Steam in certain regions would have the VXT trilogy. Now, of course, 30, but, but we're going to wait till the price drops for 30. That's where the franchise is right now. They're, they're at 30. And I'm still waiting for like the rest of the earlier games to be fan translated. And I do have a couple of games that I do want to cover 
whether it's going to be on stream or it's just going to be like done in, done in a let's play format but this one no this one I've been having quite fun with and you know sometimes when I'm with the guys because now discord has been updated to where oh you're playing you you can play on your PS4 it shows how long you've been playing on the PS4 remotely but aside from that you know if you ever find Super Robot Wars Voyage for yourself pick it up if you are a fan of Yamato pick it up If you would, if you were just, if you would just play just to, just to have that power in your hands, and trust me, the Yamato is straight, just you, you, you can't get much more power than Yamato, because <laughs> really, the Yamato is one badass warship that could basically just like. Slot down, say this many, this many troops. I mean, you could just have it just sit there. You could just board it for a couple of turns, like at least two turns. Because usually, when you when you board, it would take up like at least a turn because you're going to heal, <clears throat> and it would take about two turns. Because you're getting fully healed, but they do give you. Oh, I almost forgot full metal panics in this as well. But um, yeah, I'd say, is it worth getting? Hell yeah, it is. If you're a fan of this series or of any of the series, because I believe in the next one that I plan to play which is Cross. Oh, uh, let's take a look at what Cross has. Uh, let's see, Cross has, uh, we're taking a look at this right now. Cross has the following. Ooh. Another Brave series, or, um, has Dunbine. Guinagan, Might Gain, oh, we might have Wing, um, Mazing Kaiser, ah, Wataru. As well as we having, um, oh, right, it also has, um, Code Gias here. Okay. Oh, yes, I am definitely going to be playing X after this. Yes, because Cross, oh, yes. I, I'm feeling it for Cross because it, it has, like, the most strangest. Excuse me. It has the most strangest um, additions ever known as compared to, say, T. And T, yes, I am actually going through all this. T has the following. <clears throat> Some returning characters like um, Muteki Robo, Trider G7, Autobattler Dunbine. Zeta Gundam, Double Zeta Gundam, Shards Counterattack, Del Torica's Children, Crossbone Gundam, G Gundam, Voltons, Might Gain, Galgagar, Cowboy Bebop, Gunbuster, Natashiko, Prince of Darkness, Get a Robo Armageddon, Mazinger Z Infinity, um, 
Arcadia of my youth, that's um Captain Harlock. Magic Knight Rare, Gunsword, and Expelled from Paradise. So, yes, um As compared to all the other games I've played, you know, I think there's um There's only a few others that I think that are in this. I think one has um I think one has Nadia in it. Because of um the Nautilus. And what I'm talking about is Nadia Secret of Blue Water, so they so there you go. Yeah. So like I said, <clears throat> if you are interested in this game, and if you can find it, and say you could buy it for yourself, go ahead and buy it for yourself. I played it on, say, beginner's mode because it gives you a lot more money. But still, it doesn't take away from the fact that they'll eat your ass up. Seriously, it doesn't take away from the challenge of the game because it really doesn't. Because I'd rather get more money out of anything else just so I can just basically just say, you know what, I got 600000 You can basically bump up a couple of mechs to say damn near max but like I said I've been really really enjoying it and for the most part you know I've been using I've been using that mic for performance more than weaponry so there you go cause you know staying power is just as good as you know your weapon I found that the performance it's not as bad as the weapons. The weapons are like high as hell. So it's like if you can try to get around five or six. Or with certain units like four. Like say four or seven. Something like that. I mean if you can max it out, you can max it out. I mean I've done it with the, the main character and the GV. Grand Van. Oh god. OP is all get out. But let me tell you, it's worth the time, it's worth the energy to get this game. And with that, my friends, join me next time when I cover something else aside from what I've been doing. And I'm going to let you know right now, following after this, um, well, expect a report next day. A channel update, perhaps. So stay tuned. And as I said before, I highly recommend you try Super Robot Wars Voyage, or V for short. Thanks for listening and watching, and I'll see you next time for another great video.